Third, uh, third pick, third, the, the third slot. <laughs> now looking at Team Malaysia's uh, approach no, here. I would have said it It was great. The counter, yeah. it, it was low like hanging fruit. Atlas. It's a low hanging fruit for Team Philippines. Yeah. I was gonna say, was it worth it to choke out uh, Unigo's choices? But apparently the Atlas still made it through. Now Team Malaysia. Now they realize the uh, threat. Yeah, they're gonna lean hard on it. And this is the best way for you to actually pivot. Don't you just go Claude or Harith here? Uh, Claude is great. Either. Either yeah. or. Something tells me that th th this gives me flashbacks to Indonesia versus Myanmar. This is how Team uh, yeah. Myanmar, through the guidance of Coach Zaya, yeah. just had a surplus of choices despite exactly. Team Indonesia attacking their draft. There you go! The Harith! Yeah. yeah, called it! It's a, it's so telegraphed, dude. I mean, I think that uh, Team Philippines have got this in the draft. So I, even when you, you can argue that Eve... Um, you, you, you're left with really no choice. Surely you will be able to still pop the real world manipulation. But the fact that you are freely hitting, right? Helker can just jump to the back lights, choose between carry or Eve. You have free stacks with the passive of the Helker because of the Eve being stationary. And the fact that you can just pop your ultimate to de to kind of destroy the back lights, it's going to be good. I mean, the Franco cannot freely hook here. Yeah. Just what you do is that if there's a hook, you would want the Atlas to go flicker in and then pop the Dark Knight Falls. It's checkmate already. Yeah, again, imagine, imagine fighting into Dark Knight Falls, a silence, a slow from the Zaman Force, Ooh. unlimited dashes. All right, we're talking about best and then a final flash. scenario for Team Philippines because, again, we have seen this executed. There is practice, there are reps on it. Now, Team Malaysia, the way they drafted, they've played around with what they have, especially yeah. with such a powerful first phase. We'll see how they execute. We'll see if they're able to take it far enough! Well... What a start! What a start. <laughs> Again, Zorn, you need to land those hooks. Uh, much needed, the entirety of the game. Well, it's kind of uh, forgivable for Philippines to do that, because they, they did just see Eve from the bottom lane, so they were kind of like uh, putting some pressure on Zorn, they're not willing to actually do the XP support thing themselves. Wait. Yep. He's letting Onigo take level 2. No, 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 no. Let's, let's address the elephant in the room. It's not the swap that we were expecting. Another hook. Okay. It's Momo, the yep. artist on exactly. the XP that, that's, lane. Uh, that's actually what I was looking at. But, of course, with all of the posts that's happening in the middle, you can see that Team Malaysia will, will be relying on perhaps what made them very successful in a b way, way before. It's like they, they're put in a spot where, okay, we have a bag of tricks in, in uh, you know, a deep pool of bag yeah. of tricks. This time, okay, Marty's on to Momo. It's a decent laner against Arland. However, I worry about the Fred and against Hellkirk. That's what we are seeing right now. Chibi, his initial rotation onto the XP lane, actually, now he had to TP out. So that's not really a good sign. Well, good news, bad news. Uh, he did reach level 4, so he is going to be able to walk on to this first turtle, contest it. Yeah. But still, I, I am flabbergasted. It's not the swap that we were expecting, because again, I thought you wanted yeah. to shore up yes. that Hellkurt matchup. Exactly. I wonder what they're thinking with Momo here on the Martis. I think it's Malaysia saying that we need more over the Arlet. Because the Fredon against Arlet, you're just allowing Arlet to yeah. scale up. With right. Martis, you can actually disrupt. The uh, the Arlot, especially win. with uh, with the flicker on Momo, he can actually do some Whoa. damage on the back line. Momo already starting with uh, some pokes on the cannon, but Arcan uh, Arcan oh. actually gets into a top lane. Like a channel telegraph, you know that the Hyrule is gonna win, and he wins nonetheless. Uh. Onto the turtle fight, that's gonna be the hell card to secure that the turtle. Licks. Unigo with the fatal licks, Momo out. They want to go for more. Chibi low. He'll be chased down by Kanon. He knows that his ultimate is going to be cooling down in just a little bit. Oh. And Pokes might be there. Kanon going to be thwarted by Izanami. Final slash connects. Saison actually misses the jump. And that meant that Zorn will land the hook. Malaysia finds something Kanon out of the team fight. was limit testing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was just going off of instinct and as well adrenaline being one game away from taking home a gold. I was going to say, is Arcanel happy with the decimate in that last team fight? I think he jumped onto someone with it. Yeah, you know, Philippines, they have, they have so many skills to cover the turtle. Dark Knight Falls, Fatal Links, and Rekishan with a solo kill on the top lane. That's actually crucial. I love the battle spell choice here. Flicker, you need to play aggressive against Malaysia. If you play passive, 
we well we saw that matchup earlier uh well yesterday with carry playing more aggressive than the harith they would just take it to late game so philippines they recognize the fact that they have to play fast here because yep. if they don't you're playing into carry territory which is basically team malaysia with their change of pace and their change of priorities Philippines just oh, asked her back! There is the Fatal Licks and there's the hook to counter Onigo. Onigo gonna be down for sure. Kanon wants to go for a fight. Actually, there's enough damage up to Isanami. Oh. Helkert pops the ultimate. And now they have found the opening onto Sword. They want to transfer to the Franco, but it comes GP to defend. Ooh, solo up kill. top, a solo kill coming out from the Harry. Oh, misses with the dust from Kanon. And now they get a kill. Saison with the burst. Now Momo gets one with the decimation, runs away into safety. Philippines finds two kills. Again, on just a Put it into context anecdotally, if you are a Martis and you have a mortal coil and you have those dashes stocked up in a decimate and then it goes Dark Knight Falls, that's miserable. That is yeah. a sad two seconds for a Martis <laughs> yeah. that could have snowballed. When you go though, on the top lane, they're not letting any breathing room for this carry. Oh, Zord still wants to go for the hook. Frozen. Very bold against Team Philippines. They are able to defend for now. But yeah. the turtle is going to be controlled by Team Philippines. Saison and Ragishana, they're having a fantastic game here. On very important cores as well on the side of the Philippines. Canon! Whoa. And I want to initiate. Final stash not gonna hit. Nigo looking for an angle for the Fatal Link. Saison holds on. Pops the Hulk. The silence. ultimate and the silence. And it gets retribution. Now they gang up on to the Frederick. Fatal Frederick Licks. goes out. My goodness. Saison, he knows how to use the Helker to a different dimension yeah. now. And you know what? That, that Dark, Dark Knight falls. It's not just silence over a Chibi. Just make sure that he does not dash away. That's also a disable. On the retribution, you're not gonna be able to use it. And then Nigo flickering in, just to be able to uh, ensure the kill onto the Fredrin. As if it wasn't bad enough, you also cannot even see what's around you. Yeah. You don't know how many opponents yeah, are there. Yeah, I mean, you right. can remember, right? But also, check it out. Throughout the chaos up top, Malaysia able to push a turret down bottom. Yeah. yeah. So, kind of like the, uh, the game from Philippines and game number one, game number two, you do the resource trade. Yeah. But Philippines is just getting more. Rekishan already has Fenner of Heaven. Yep. Five minutes, 12 seconds. And they transfer into the mid lane. So this could be good for Team Malaysia as it means that they might be able to threaten for a top turret push. Oh. But Team Philippines, Dark Knight Falls, they jump on the Eve, they have the silence, they take it out. Izanami, now Chico guys, left in no man's land, he's taking out the Fatal Links, Alex up to one. And that is surely a kill, a double even for Saison. Team Philippines, using their kit to maximum efficiency. You see how Unigo held on right yeah. before the very last minute? Yeah. It, it, it was like Unigo knew that Purify would come out from Chico Dice. Oh, the Fighter Slash has to commit the Flicker, but now they found an even better target. Jungler out for Team Malaysia. Philippines on a roll. Midnight, this is the fastest we've seen Team Philippines go all series long. Ooh, ooh, ooh the Cyclone I play. Yeah, you were saying. How did they decide to clutch this quickly? Was it all because of the draft or did they just say, let's do it? Well, they are going to be doing it. Look at the kick on to Kanon. He's going to be taken out for now. Oh, so I saw he's going to be controlled. Who oh, says oh, the oh, life oh, still? Oh, to take oh, on oh. is to stay alive in the silence. On the sword meant that there will not be anything afterwards. Oh, they lose goodness. Kanon, however, as they were taken out by Team Malaysia. But that means that Philippines will control this turtle once more. Terrified, Fatal Licks, all of the control was there and the damage. Oh my goodness, Chibi just can't find an opening. You know what, this is just an amplified hell card. Saison opted to go for the jungle emblem just to make sure that he farms fast enough because he wants to be able to join. He doesn't Ooh, care oh, about, okay. uh, about the killing spree at all. He does not need the extra HP. What they need here is time and efficiency. Oh, and with this adjustment, they have Making so much the time. D line up top, Chico guys out once again. Zorn lands the hook onto Kanon. Oh. They have the damage after, of course, the bloody hunt and the turret damage. That is just a kill, but of course, that is the fifth death onto Chico guys. Yeah, so the speed that Team Philippines is coming at here, seven minutes in, comes at a price. Yeah, it's five to fourteen now. They have traded away two oh, turrets, Saison. and yeah, Team Malaysia here trying to catch Saison off guard. Ooh, Almost small win, small win. Because again, they forced the ult and then yep. they got a little wanderer. A minute away till Lord. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm wondering, how is it going to reach critical mass? How is Team Malaysia going to replicate the same late game potential that they had in game one and two if Chico Guys is saying, as you put, five deaths now? Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of a passive lineup as well. Like, you don't have the best gifts in terms of protecting the carry. And your main problem, it's not even the Hellcat. Rekishano, the Harith.
<laughs> and another problem. Up top, Chibi lands the good taunt onto Kanon, but that means that Philippines will just clear yeah. out the minions and take out the turret up top. You know, the biggest power spike that Malaysia will have to face, uh, face is the Holy Crystal pickup that can't come out from the, the, uh, the Harith. Yep. So much damage, so much magic damage from Team Philippines. And Saison will now have the ultimate. That will be 20 seconds before an next lord or the first lord of the game. Malaysia, they need to, re to reach the late game for sure. Once again, they'll have to rely on their defense. And everybody else from Team Philippines are just sweeping all the bushes now so that they will know that there will be yeah. no defense whatsoever Team Malaysia. Hard to fight into this as well. Oh, Canon! Does not land the stun. Onigo onto the front lines. Argan Hill gonna be controlled a little bit. Oh. There it comes the hook, but that's the Atlas. You don't wanna be in the spot. And it comes the fire slash to displace the members of Malaysia. That's two out. Zorn, super low. Gonna be safe for now, but will be taken up by Ricketiano. The cleanup. But now up top, Chibi is gonna be the, the target. Canon. And the rest of the gang will take out one. And no exchange whatsoever because of the fact that the Hellcurt popped the ultimate. Lord took all in about seven seconds mm -hmm. from the Hellcurt. Just him. Just him. This is the power of the jungle emblem on Hellcurt and the amount of damage that he has right now. And mind you, Malaysia fought into that. They, they started their own terms and Philippines still came out on top. That was because of the, the gold lead. This is just the sheer gold difference between both sides. And Harith was so big as well. He was hitting yep. 1,500 magic damage per hit. One might wonder what the call was because yes, Sorn did get a great hook, but before that, Momo was actually spotted by Arkangel. Exactly. It was Arkangel who bush checked uh, Momo, and I'm guessing there should have been some communication, Momo. right? It's very similar situation as this one, yep. but as you said, Midnight, it was off of the back of Rekitiano's Harith. He loves those tight spaces where the Zaman Force is basically half the battlefield. Look at the Nigo. Look at the oh, Nigo. the E pops the ultimate, but they want to go for a play. From Inigo, catches two with the Fatal Licks and the depth damage. Hellcard pops the ultimate so that there will be no vision and they take out more. GP out, the turret up top, super duper low. Even after the, the, the holy defense, it will not be enough to clear out the minions in top and in middle. It oh, the the Sorry. What a DPS! It's going to be enough. The deadly poison stinger to end the life of Malaysia for now. No minions, but it will be enough. Ricky Tiano finish it up and that's gold for Philippines once again. Three years straight, the Philippines have been on top of the SEA Games in MLBB earlier this year. They took the World Championships and now with Arcangel taking his second gold medal in his career, the Philippines stands tall. GG well played to Team Malaysia.